Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so what we're doing today is a 40 minute lower body with a core focus. So we're gonna work a lot on one side. We're gonna do some double, but we're gonna kinda work a lot on that core focus while we work those lower body. And I have a range of activities that we're doing today. So I have some heavier weights like my 20 and 25, a little bit lighter for 15 to make sure I keep with my form. One mini band, you don't have to have one, but it'll make those glutes on fire on a couple of the exercises. And I am using an elevated surface for a couple of the activities. So grab a chair, the couch. And again, I will show you if you don't have anything with that, but grab it if you can. Don't forget a sweat talent drink. And of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully I had a chance to grab all your toys and your area of awesomeness. And if so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just a squat and a lunge. Let's get that heart rate up just a little bit, just to get that blood flow moving. We've got squat and a lunge, squat and a lunge. You've got this, come on. Squat, lunge, squat, lunge, and getting that warmed up. We've got three more of these. Whew. Oh yeah. Two more, each side. Getting that heart pumping a little bit, right? Last one on each side. Oh yeah. And then this time we're gonna reach our arms up, grab those toes, squat on down, and then that low squat, just kind of open up those hips. Want those hips nice and moving today. And then you're gonna stand back up, all the way up, getting that trunk rotation, uh, trunk extension. Come down, grab those toes if you can. Come down, open up those hips. Feeling mighty fine. Oh yeah, standing back up. Oh, we've got one more of these. Down, grab, open up those hips. Oh, that always feels so good, right? And then you're gonna stand up, keep those knees as straight as you can. Drop that head, give me a little bit of that hamstring. Oh yeah, take that right hand, I'll look on up. Roll that wrist and roll it the other way. We'll do some grip stuff with some of those lifts today. Take that left hand up, roll that wrist. Roll it the other way. Walk it to the right side. Grab a little bit of a tug. Walk it to the left side. Grab a little bit of a tug. And then come on up. We're going to do some hinges right here. Drive and up. Drive. And you're driving through that hip. Oh, maybe like a swing. <laughs> that just might be coming. Drive it through. We've got five, four, three, Two, one. Oh, that felt so good, right? Okay, trunk rotation right here and right, and you're gonna drive those knees. So trunk rotation, drive those knees. Oh yeah. Three more, two more, last one. At the end, we're gonna walk that out in a nice plank position and then down into quadruped. We're gonna take those feet and we're gonna drive that right towards the ceiling and really activate that glute and squeeze that glute. Drive it up there and squeeze and squeeze. Woo, you got this. Three, two, last one. Now we're gonna go out to the side and squeeze. Feeling good. Three, two, last one. Now the other side, we're gonna drive it up towards the ceiling. I can already tell. My allergies are on fire today, so that's gonna be fun. Three, two, last one out to the side. Nice and congested from the what's flying in the air. Here we go, three, two, last one. And then right here in that quadruped, we're gonna go out and then just tap and then get in each side. Some rotation in those hips still. Three more, two more, last one. Now, this time you're gonna take that, arm, that leg, that leg, and up and towards that toe. Up and down, rotating. Woo, yeah. Three, two, other side, down. Lift, to the best of your ability, okay? I know these are challenging. Three, two, last one. Now we're gonna go into that half kneel right here. Lunge forward, get that hip flexor for me. Take that right arm, twist it over and touch and come back down, Woo, three, two, last one, and then straighten that knee, drive it forward, 
straighten that knee, drive it forward. Three, two, last one, other side. Here we go. Drive, rotate it around. Whew. Nice, good rotations. Three, two, last one. Straighten that knee, drive it forward. Oh yeah, three, two, last one. Let's talk about what we're gonna do first. Okay, so we're gonna work on two exercises. We're gonna go twice through, and then we're gonna do a third exercise, kind of combining them for twice as long. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a swing one-sided right here to the side and drive. So it's like the center, but it's gonna be just on that one side. We'll do the right, then we'll do the left, and then we're just gonna do a front lunge. I challenge you to do the lunge right here. Try it on the other side. So let's try with that swing. Grab a weight. We're doing that right side first. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Hinge down and drive. Now, it's not my arms, okay? It is my legs. My hips are driving forward. I'm hinging down and driving. It is that thrust that is moving that weight. Now, here's the caveat, right? We're doing just one side. Totally working that core to stabilize you with that weight on one side. Okay, you may have to drop that weight as you work that core, because that's actually your limiting factor a lot of times in this activity. Challenging it in functional activities while we work those legs. Come on, 10 more seconds of this. And then we're gonna do a front step lunge again on that right side. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so. I challenge you to keep it on your left side. Step forward on that right and back, okay? Stabilizing, actually, I'm gonna put it on my right. I take that back. I'm gonna do it on my right side. I'm gonna challenge that leg a little bit more. Here we go, three, two, one. Step forward and back, forward and back. The key is to step forward, drop down, push off those heels and come back up. Stop the weight, drop it down, push it back. It doesn't need to be fast. It needs to be controlled. Control that trunk, not moving forward. Control that knee, drop it down. Push it back, come on. Down and back. Now after this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that single side swing on the left side. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, now we're gonna do the left side swing. Whew. Told you, allergies, crazy. Okay, left side swing. Same thing as before. It's a drive through that hip. It's a nice neutral spine in three, two, one, drive and up. So we are working for 45 seconds. It's a pretty long workload. And then we're gonna do a minute and a half after we finish those front lunges. What we're gonna do is a, a swing from the middle. It's more of like a normal swing. And then we're gonna do a step back lunge kind of in a goblet style, okay? Just to make it finish strong on that. Whoo, heart rate gets up there when you're doing these big global movements on these legs. Drive it forward and down. Keep that nice neutral spine. Whew. Drive through those hips. You've got 10 more seconds. Awesome sauce, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, throw that weight on that left side. We're gonna do left side of the lunges. Whew. Catch your breath for just a second. Okay, you ready? Here we go, three, two, one. Step down, push back. Step down, push back. You're definitely gonna say, my legs will work today. I got my heart rate up and I burned some major calories. We throw those weights around, dang, our calories just burn like crazy. And you know what, they burn longer after we're done with a workout than doing like pure cardio. So you wanna lean down. A lot of women are like, I wanna lean down. I don't wanna get buff, so I don't wanna move weights. Oh no, moving weights, gonna lean that body down. And it's gonna make you super strong looking and awesome and fierce. And you're gonna feel good. It's so good for your body. Here we go, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm grabbing a heavier weight. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go right here into the center and then I'm gonna step back into a lunge. Into the center, 
step back into a lunge. That's what we got, are you ready? Here we go, three, two, one. Drive it forward, step on back. Drive it forward, step on back. Controlling that weight takes a lot of control in that trunk to keep that chest upright in that back lunge. Oh yeah. And then remember, we're doing this twice as long. Say what? But I have a pretty long break in between these sets. Okay, so that you have a little time to recover. No worries. Total time for recovery with water break. And then back out to another set. Whew. Come on, keep it going. Here's the good news. We're halfway there. What? <laughs> Come on, you can do this. I know it. Come on, stay strong. You can do it. I know it's staying focused. Burning in some endurance with this baby. Oh yeah. Drive and step back. Come on, 30 seconds left. That's it. You can see that finish line. Water break after this. Down and up. So we're gonna see a lot of single-sided activity into double-sided activity today. 15 seconds. Okay, come on. Stay focused. Drive it through those hips. Step back. Come on, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Drop that weight. Grab some water. Woo! You deserve it, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Let me tell you what we're doing next. We're doing a staggered squat. Okay, so you're gonna take that weight and we're gonna have the right side back, left side forward, and you're gonna sit down. That staggered squat's gonna make you do about 80% of your work on that right side. You're gonna take that weight right there, down and up. Again, one-sided, it's gonna make that core work. Then we're gonna go into a single leg deadlift. You're gonna hinge down, drive forward. You can keep that toe back there or you can lift. As long as when you're lifting, you're not twisting. You're driving right straight through. Okay, keeping that weight nice and strong. And then you guessed that on that third one, we'll do a goblet squat and a wide deadlift where we get both legs involved. So we're gonna do right, a staggered squat to start with. So grab your weight. Put that right there. Okay, so the right leg is back. Left leg is forward in three, two, one, sit down. Remember, we start with driving our hips back first. Trunk is nice and upright. We're gonna push through those heels as we come up. You're gonna feel those glutes activate. That's why we did those activation drills beforehand. Those glutes like to be lazy, but they're so important, okay? It keeps, it's part of our core. It keeps mobility into your hip flexors, which get so tight. There's so many important pieces that we need for those glutes and we need them to activate and they like to be lazy. So that's why we are like, wake up. You gotta do some work today. <laughs> Come on down and up. This is a lot of quad focus, yes. But you're still using those glutes to balance you. Here we go in three, two, one and rest. Okay, now we're down to that single leg at, um, deadlift. We're coming down and up. You're either lifting that leg up or you're doing a toe touch for that balance. Either way, hinge at that hip, nice neutral spine in three, two, one, hinge down, drive forward. Again, the key is to keep those hips not rotating back, straight down and back, no rotation there. Okay, if you can't do that, then you gotta keep that toe down there. Oh man, like I said, my allergies are going crazy. Something's in the air. Woo! Okay, so after this, we're gonna go to that stagger squat on the left side, right? We have to even ourselves out. I cannot look at you and do this balance. <laughs> Come on, here we go, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Bear with me with my allergies. Left sided squat with that staggered squat, okay? Again, that left side's back, right side's forward. Here we go in three, two, one. So you have weight on both sides, okay? So it's not like it's all on one side right now. Don't worry, we might just get to that. <laughs> but you have maybe like 80%, maybe 70%, okay? It's just a little bit more focused 
on that left side. We only have weight on one side. It's making you do a sling motion in those abs and those glutes to stabilize that spine and that core, okay? It's working extra hard when we throw that uneven situation in there. Come on, down and up. You've got 15 more seconds. Down and up, push through those heels again. Get those glutes. I know it's a quad activated, but don't let the quads overtake it. It's a balance. Here we go, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna finish this out with left-sided single leg deadlift before we go into our bilateral work in the extra long time, right? Here we go, three, two, one. It's extra long, but it's kind of working still somewhat both sides, so it's not as hard, okay? And it's just getting, we have to do short bursts and long endurance so these muscles are ready. Because you know what? In our daily activities, there are times we do a lot of endurance. I don't know about you, but man, my body sometimes has to work a lot, maybe in the yard, maybe working, cleaning the house, right? There's times where you're just working really hard and those need to have that long endurance with that. Come on, you got this, 15 more seconds. Down and up, drive through that heel, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna do a goblet squat. That means that weight's gonna go right here, okay? Into the center, we're gonna squat down, come up, and then I'm gonna do a kind of a wider deadlift. I'm gonna come to the center and drive it up. I'm gonna do a nice Romanian deadlift. Okay, just kind of like we did with a single leg. It's gonna keep those knees straight and drive forward. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, sit down, come up, hinge forward, hand up. Okay, so remember, this is a minute and a half, but then we get a minute break. Okay, so I have been had some grace for you. <laughs> I'm not all mean, right? <laughs> come on, sit down. And again, working that core because that weight is up in front, okay? It wants to pull us forward. And guess what doesn't keep that happening? You got it, that core. <laughs> Drive it forward, hinge back. And you'll notice almost all these activities have some quad focus and some hamstring and glute focus, okay? So we're balancing those legs out with these activities. Come on, you're halfway there. Isn't that encouraging? Should encourage you. Keep going, stay strong. Now, the next activities, we're gonna use that elevated surface. So I'm just giving you a heads up. You've got 30 more seconds of this. You'll have a minute to grab water, your elevated surface, and for me to show you what fun we get to do with that, right? <laughs> Something like that. Here we go, 15 more seconds. Drive it forward, sit it back. Woo, nice and controlled. Come on down and drive and back. You got this. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Drop that weight, grab water, and I'm gonna grab my bench. I'm bring it a little bit closer. So this may be an activity that you don't do any weights with. This may be something that you have a little bit of weight with. That's gonna be up to you. We're gonna have our foot up there, okay? And we're gonna sit down and up. Now you can take that weight and you can put it on one side. Make that a little more challenging, okay? If you don't have a bench, you can put your other weight, your other foot on another weight, another dumbbell. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down and squat to the bench. That other leg can be up, that other leg can be toe touch. And if you don't have a bench, you're just gonna sit down with that foot out in front, okay? So you can do this without it. And then we'll have some fun on that single, on that double leg activity. <laughs> Woo, oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a lightweight, not a real heavy, because I wanna do a lot of range of motion with this, okay? So we're gonna start with that right side first. We're gonna have that left leg up there. Now the key is to get far enough away and then not close enough. So I don't want it over that toe, I wanna sit back right over that heel and down. Here we go, in three, two, one, sit down, drive forward, drive through that heel. You're coming all the way up, give me that full extension. Down and up. Now I'm not doing a real heavy weight, you may even be able to do body weight. I've got that one side, but I'm gonna push my range of motion a little bit, really get some mobility in that, strengthening all the way through. Sometimes when you put that heavier weight, we have to shorten that range a little bit to stay stable. Okay, but so there's times where we wanna drop that down just a little bit, give us that full range. 
and you want to stay nice and controlled. Come on, you got 10 more seconds of this side. And then we're going to do a, a squat to the bench. Yes. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Challenge, keep your foot up. Otherwise, keep that toe down a little bit. Again, you don't have to do this weight and you don't have to do it with a bench. I showed you how to do that. Here we go. Three, two, one, down. Drive up. Now you're sitting down and then you're driving through that heel all the way up to the top. Down and up. Shift that weight, shift it back up. Ooh, yeah. Come on. Now you can't shift that weight like that. If you're not sitting down on something, that's okay. Just squat down, have that foot in front and guide. Work with what you got, that's perfectly fine. I'm just giving you different options. Make it more interesting, you're always doing something a little bit different. Come on, up and down, 15 more seconds. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Even ourselves out, down and up. Come on, you got this. Down and up, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, woo. Now we got that left side. Okay, we're sitting back and down. Again, the key is to find that nice good distance where you can sit down and come up, keeping that weight over that heel. Three, two, one, sit down, drive up. Oh yeah, big exhale as you come out. Okay, really push through that. When you really coordinate your breathing, that is part of your core, right? That diaphragm is actually connected and part of that core. So when you learn to breathe, man, your effectiveness of your lifting and your body and the coordination of making a healthy back, super important. It's one reason why yoga Pilates is so good. Really helps coordinating that breath, getting you better. Whew. Come on, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so now I'm gonna sit back and let that other foot dangle in front or Toe touch. Catch that breath. Here we go in three, two, one. Sit down and up. Okay, I will give you a cue that I'm not using any weight on that third activity. Okay, we're gonna have a tall bridge off of it. So I'm gonna lay down on the bench or half off, right? I'm gonna have my glute off in a tall bridge and we're gonna do some leg lifts and bridge work and it's gonna be fun. Something like that, right? <laughs> Come on, up and down. Woo! Shifting that weight, driving all the way up. Give me that full extension at the top. Boom, and pop that hip. Come on, 10 more seconds, you're almost there. Here we go. And we got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna go off that bench. Okay, we're gonna have a tall bridge, and we're gonna take that one side and we're gonna do a leg lift. And we're gonna lift and do a glute bridge and a leg lift. So we're gonna get the quad and the glute. If you don't have a bench, you're gonna do a regular bridge with a leg lift, okay? You can do this. Here we go. Three, two, one. So I want you to extend that knee, press that knee down as much as you can and flex that foot. You're gonna lift that leg up and you're gonna lift that glute up. Okay, so you're gonna feel the left side glute and the right side quad. And we're gonna do this half the time, and then we're gonna switch sides. Okay, so it's not super double active, but we're doing a sling movement. <laughs> so we got 15 more seconds of this side. Then we're switching sides. Come on, let that burn. 10 more seconds on this side. Keep that knee really straight. Really push that straight in extension. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, other side. Nice and seamless. Really extend that leg and then drive through that hip into that nice good glute bridge and feel that burn. Whoo, yeah. Okay, so next activity we are going to do, I'm gonna use my band for that. You don't have to, just adds a little bit more oomph, especially to those glutes. Come on, you got this. You've got 15 more seconds. Thank goodness. Whoo, that's a burn. Come on, you got this. Feel it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and shake those legs out. 
Get rid of your elevated surface. Thank goodness we are done with that. Woo, that was hard. Okay, so now we are gonna use that glute band. If you have it, if you don't, it's no big deal. Okay, we're gonna put it right around our thighs. The first activity is we're gonna go into a squat, step back into a curtsy, step back into a squat, come up. We're gonna squat low, curtsy, up and down. Then the left side. We're gonna do leg abduction right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna squat at the last and do some steps, okay? Woo! Working, not hardly, working hard, absolutely. Now, you can do this all without weight. Just the mini band. If you don't have the mini band, you can grab a dumbbell. Or if you're challenged, you can do both. I'm gonna do one. Woo! We're gonna start with it. Oh yeah. We're gonna do one sided squat with a curtsy. So we're gonna squat down. We're gonna curtsy back with that left so that right side works. Here we go. Three, two, one. Squat down, step back, step, and up. So I'm staying low. I'm stepping back like a curtsy. I'm coming back. Driving forward. Oh yeah. Curtsy back, step forward, and that one-sided weight, working that core. And that one-legged movement. Oh my word, my legs. Yes, they are working for sure. Come on, 15 more seconds. Down and up. Keep that upright chest in these positions. You got this in five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm gonna drop that weight. We're gonna go right here. Leg abduction, nice good kicks. I'm gonna keep my knee, my foot flex, my knee straight, and lift, no side. Just lift through those hips, baby. Here we go, three, two, one. Now if you need to, grab a wall for balance. Otherwise, I challenge you to work on your balance. We do not get better unless we practice balance. If you've been around me enough, you know, balance has to be practiced and worked. And it's important, it's a, in physical therapy, it's one of the things we look at in how we have a risk assessment for falls as you get an elderly. So you want that balance as you age, okay? Cause it's decreasing your risk of so many injuries. Okay, so, but we gotta practice it. Just like we did when we were kids on the jungle gym in the, right? We have to practice this. Come on, left and kick. Give me that nice good, you're gonna feel that outer thigh. On fire in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, left side now. Into that squat with that curtsy, right? Oh yeah. Are you ready? Here we go, three, two, one. Sit down, step back with that right, step, and up. Because when we step back with that right, that left has to work to stabilize that baby. Woo, come on. Now it's gonna be a little tired, because guess what? It was just working hard to stabilize you in that single leg, leg lift, right? It was working too, don't worry. You work both sides, even when you think you're focused on one. <laughs> okay, especially in these functional activities, it's having a sling to stabilize. It's all working, just working it differently. 15 more seconds, down and up. Woo, yeah, baby, come on. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, drop that weight. We're doing leg lifts on that left side. Woo. Okay, here we go. You ready? Three, two, one, up and kick. Woo. Oh yeah, catch that breath. Again, use the balance chair, a wall if you need to. But I have to just say, have it close. If you think you're working on balance, have it close to touch. But try to challenge yourself to do it without. Okay, and again, don't be lifting through the trunk. The trunk stays nice and upright. And it's just lifting through that leg. Woo, okay, so what we have next, remember we're in a goblet squat and we're gonna step, lateral step to each side. We're gonna go all the way down the mat, come back up, Go all the way down the mat the other direction. Oh yeah, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so grab a weight. Okay, so we're gonna get in that goblet squat and we're gonna walk it all the way out. 
Come out, stand up, squat down, walk it all the way to the other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Squat down and walk and walk and walk. Come up, sit down, walk, walk, walk. Okay, and up, sit down. How low can you go? Press how low you can go. I guarantee you, you're not as low as you think you are. Okay, it's very surprising. Most people are like, whoa, I thought it was like almost to the ground and they're halfway up. <laughs> Come on, whoo, and up. Oh, let this bird now if you need to. Drop the weight, that's okay. Keep moving though, right? Come on, you got this down and step and step and step. Here's the good news, right? After this, we have a water break and then we only have one more set. Yes, right? Okay, we are halfway through. I know, only halfway. Oh my goodness, what that burn. If you got those glute bands, you are feeling that hip on fire. Oh yeah. Come on, down, 30 seconds. That's all you got, you can do it, 30 seconds. Super easy. Okay, not super easy, but <laughs> encouraging that it's almost done. How about that? <laughs> oh yeah. Woo, come on. And step, push your body. You can do it. 15 seconds. We're almost there. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I know. I hear you. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. All the, the last activities we're doing, I am not going to use any weight, no band. No bench, it is just gonna be our body weight. Sometimes, if you're like my dad, he's like, that's just as dangerous or more. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're going down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into a low squat, push ourselves into a plank, come back into a low squat. Now you're like, if I can't do that, we're gonna walk to a quad and walk it back. Okay, go where you can go. Okay, that's the push. First activity. Second activity, we're gonna be in quadruped. We're gonna take that toe, point it, extend that leg, and we're gonna do rainbow extensions, and then a rainbow, and then a kick. Extend, extend, and kick. Okay, so that'll be our second activity. And our third, we'll do some bear crawl motions, some hip extension, some exciting to finish out, right? So we're going to that low squat, out to that um, plank thruster, and back, here we go. Three, two, one, come down, out, and in, and up. And this is not one-sided, this is just hard. <laughs> down, up. Now again, you can walk that out into a quad and walk that back, okay? That's your other option. Down, and up, stay in that low squat, and go out, okay? You got this, come on, out, push back and up. Oh yes. Ooh, push that burn, right? We do not need weights on this. Our body is working hard enough. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. I'm gonna go this direction. I'm gonna work that right side first. I'm gonna extend. You're gonna go big rainbow, then a front kick. Big rainbow, and then a front kick all keeping that knee extended. Here we go. Three, two, one. Big rainbow and a front kick. Big rainbow and a front kick. I get through that full rainbow, then a kick. Oh, working that glute, working that core to stabilize you. Stay in that nice good quad position. That is all coming from that hip, baby. Woo, this is why we stretched it out to have that mobility. Oh, walk that through it. You got this, come on. 15 more seconds on this side. And you should be feeling that left side stabilizing you as you move this right. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, back up to that thruster, the low squat. Or like I said, if you're going to that quad position, that's okay too. Whew. The key is that you're moving, you're challenging yourself, and you're working hard. Here we go, three, two, one, down, and out, and back. Now you may be at a different pace than me, that is completely fine, as long as you're working hard and pushing your body the whole time, right? We are working on endurance, 
So I want you to work that whole time. Try not to take rest breaks. Your body is trying to work on getting some endurance behind it. Let it push through it. You got this. And back. Oh, baby. Come on, you got 15 more seconds. Oh, yeah. Oh, Woo. here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. I'm going to child's pose right here, stretching that while I wait. Okay, so we're doing that left leg extension and kick. <sighs> yes, I can see the finish line and I'm very excited. Here we go in three, two, one, full rainbow, and then a kick. Now, you're gonna say, wow, I'm better at one side than the other. Supernatural. Okay, we tend to be more mobile on one side, stronger on one side. It doesn't have to be the same. We can be stronger with one arm and it can be different than what leg is stronger. Okay, so don't, don't be like thinking you're weird. You actually are pretty normal, but it's why we do a lot of these single-sided activities. So we work on focusing on our weakness because we are only strong as our weakness, right? So we gotta focus on that, get it stronger, keep working to get you better. 10 more seconds. Oh yeah, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, here's what we're gonna do for the final thing. We are gonna do a bear crawl. Now, you can be on your knees or make it challenging, stay on your toes. And then we're gonna kick up in extension, kick out, challenge, Try to stay on those toes. Here we go, three, two, one, bear crawl. Now, keep that knee bent, extend up, extend out. Bear crawl back. Now, extend the other side up and out. The key to challenging this, okay, is keeping the hips nice and forward, okay? Working that core, working that glute, working those quads, especially if you're on those toes. I am staying on my toes the whole time, and it's giving me a nice good quad burn. Oh yeah. Okay, and then I'm doing these extensions, which is really getting those glutes. Come on. Oh yeah. We know we're almost done to that cool down and we are excited, right? Woo. Come on. Keep it low. Keep those knees hovering if you can. If not, go to your knees, that's okay. But guess what? We're over halfway. Isn't that encouraging? It sure is to me. I am burning. I am working hard. Come on, 30 more seconds. Almost there. Up and out. Oh yeah, woo, come on. You can see that finish line and you're working hard. Come on, stay focused. Don't lose that form. We are almost there. Oh yeah, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, right here, child's pose. You rocked that, that was awesome. Come on up, drop those hips, extend up. Oh yeah, woo. Okay, in that quadruped position, stick that right leg out, rock back and forth, stretch that out, and then hold right here. Oh yeah, getting that inner thigh, that glute a little bit. Woo, that feels so good. Now can you pop that toe up a little bit and rotate? Oh yeah. Come back up. Left side, I am dripping sweat. Rock it back and up. Rock it back and up. Now sit down and hold. Let that breath come down. You worked hard today, that was awesome. A lot of core strength. Pop that toe up if you can and down. And then come on up. We are going to do scissor those legs, getting that hip flexor, stretch over just a little bit. Whew. Oh yeah. And then bring that foot back, pull it back. Oh yeah, feels good. Whew. Sweat everywhere, working hard, check. Now let's scissor the other side, drive it forward, reach on over. Big deep breath. Now, Come back to these if you're like, wow, that's tight. That's your body saying, hey, I need more of that. Come back through these. These are all great stretches to do throughout the day, especially if you work at a computer or if you're sitting a lot, you wanna get that nicely stretched out and down. Now we're gonna do a 90-90. So we're gonna do a 90 up front, 
and a 90 back with that gap. Okay, I'm gonna split the center. I'm gonna come forward. I'm gonna try to get both knees down. Woo! We're working internal and external rotation on those hips. Yes. Oh, that feels so good. Big deep breaths. Really push that down. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other side. Here we go. Split, give me that 90-90, push down. I'm gonna split the center, and this is definitely the side I am really tight on. I have a hard time getting my leg and that front leg down. That right hip is like, uh, no. <laughs> Woo. Come on. This is one of the best stretches to do because it really works both internal and external hip. You really can see the differences of where you are in your mobility. Oh, feels so good. Okay, let's come right up here. Let's finish with the butterfly. Pull that forward, pull your chest up, and you reach up and then pull forward. Here we go and hold. In five, four, three, two, one. High five for rocking that hard one. And have a great day. Hey guys, did you love that workout? Did you actually know this is one workout as part of a two week challenge? Yeah, it's part of my two week focus and dialed in workout challenge. It's designed to see where your body can get to in two weeks when we focus and dial in on each aspect of our body, whether that be focused on your shoulders, focused on your glutes, or even focused on active recovery. If you wanna be a part of that full challenge, all you need to do is grab the link in the description below. Enter your name and email, and I'll send you that full challenge so you too can see where you can get to when you focus and dial in for two weeks. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and set the notification bell so you never miss one of my future workouts. So grab that link, grab those two weeks and see where your body can get to and I'll see you there. Have a great day.